Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. I tell you what, sometimes you just look at snakes like Champ here, the T negative albino blood python. I mean so many. Jeffrey is over here in the background and I am so lucky to be surrounded by so many amazing snakes and today is going to be an incredible day because I am not only going to be working with some incredible snakes but I get an opportunity to get something that I've been kind of working on for the last like 10 years. You guys are going to be blown away when you see what I am getting today, getting back today that I've been working on for like 10 years. Uh, I'm excited. You know, I, you know, my life is a little bit like an onion. There's a lot of layers to it. So not everything I do is reptile related. So I am beyond stoked to see what is going to happen later in the vlog. But I'm not going to go too far into that right now. You guys are going to have to wait till later in the vlog for that. As of right now, we have a lot of work to do as well. You guys know we are heating up here. We've got a lot of projects that need to be finished. And I'm going to start off by showing you that clutch that I cut the other day, that clown clutch oh my goodness some of these babies are crazy so let's go ahead jump in take a look at these babies and then let's just move on with this absolutely insane day and uh, again I think you guys are gonna love what I'm about to show you a little bit later on and just so you guys remember it was a lesser clown ball python that was bred to a pastel leopard clown ball python and this is the results oh my god i look at these things and i just am like blown away birds off right off the rip we've got a couple lesser leopard clown ball pythons i mean just look at how clean that snake looks those things are ridiculous as a matter of fact sometimes i always say that the more genes you add sometimes it takes away from things right and these things are ridiculous i mean absolutely stunning look at the striping on them and just the contrast i mean absolutely ridiculous of course the dad itself is a pastel leopard clown ball python just like this right here but this is a beautiful one look at the frackling in the side and that's that leopard gene that does that right it gives all of that crazy pattern to it and i'm telling you what that thing is unbelievable again clown ball pythons are just uh, you know they become kind of like the pinnacle of reptiles when it comes to recessive mutations everyone loves clown ball pythons so when you start mixing them into lots of things they just get so amazing so then i have these two out here and if you remember when I caught this I said that I thought last year I had produced a super pastel lesser leopard clown well these guys here are exactly what I produced last year and it turns out that they're actually just pastel lesser leopard clowns now don't get me wrong still amazing and the one we hung on to last year is breathtaking absolutely incredible but these guys are just as amazing but then this hatched out Oh my goodness gracious. Of course, this is the actual super pastel lesser leopard clown ball python. So this was the one that I thought I hatched last year, but you could see the difference between these here with the super pastel and the normal pastel. Wow, just that lavender hues to this animal, unbelievable. I tell you what, again, last year I kept the whole clutch. This year it's gonna be really hard for me to sell. I think I might possibly sell one or two animals from this clutch, but. I don't know. It's probably going to be a little bit of an argument between me and Lori. I'm not going to be. I'm not going to lie to you guys because uh, she's going to want to sell them. I'm going to want to keep them. We'll see who wins. Maybe I'll just have to hide them from her and don't even let her know that we have them or stuff like that. But can you uh, can you believe the results of this clutch? On freaking believable one of the coolest clutches I've hatched out not only this year but maybe in my entire life I am so stoked it's incredible with that being said later on I'm going to show you what we're getting in because I, I want to talk about why I'm doing so many projects right now and to dive more deeply into it let's head down into the basement we have finally basically wrapped up the control room in the podcast room here we have our shelving in and yes we have a lot of camera gear if you guys didn't see we're going to organize some stuff down here but for the most part we have our shelving done we have our desks on we have Gimbal's over here, obviously the control room for the podcast room, podcast room over here. Noah's over there diligently working away on his vlog. Uh, definitely go pay him some love, link in the description. Uh, we got our charging station up top. Pretty much this place is completely done and it's all about trying to finish up projects, right? And speaking of finishing up projects, tomorrow we get back to doing the actual drywall on this and hopefully within the next couple weeks we'll have the Clubbard Room, New Caledonian Room, and the VIP Sitting Room kind of done because that's where I'm at right now in life is I'm trying to wrap up things that are in my head, delete those zip files, get rid of that memory and kind of complete things and that's all about what's happening with what I'm getting here later in the vlog. It's something that's been on my mind for the last 10 years. I finally was like, let's go ahead and get this done and get this off my plate so that I can enjoy what I wanted to enjoy the last 10 years. So it's, it's it mentally I need to free my mind up and this is the way I do it. So it's gonna be really fun to show you what we've been working on.
almost every day I have to spend a little time checking out my anacondas and just kind of coming in here and see what's going on. Ivy is in the corner over here. But what I find interesting is Aries is climbing over here. I'm not exactly sure what Aries is doing, but he's been like really, really active lately. He's climbing all over the place. Now I'm wondering the fact that we're getting close to the breeding season. This is about the time that anacondas typically copulate. And I'm wondering if he's kind of just going around scenting. Obviously, Ivy is over here. I don't know if he's just doing stuff, but I mean, he's more like a tree boa than he is an anaconda lately, climbing around. I have a feeling that if I got a little bit too close, he may take a pop at me. I'm not 100% sure. Again, Aries has been really good when he gets out of the enclosure, really super tame. But when he's in the enclosure, as you guys know, he's been pretty tricky lately. But I just find it really interesting that he's climbing around like this. I just don't even know what to think about it, but it's pretty cool. And I love getting any experience I have to climb into this enclosure because it really is one of my favorite places in the entire place just to hang out here typically with my girl Ivy as a matter of fact the other day I was in here doing some maintenance and she scared the living crap out of me because I was just not paying attention and next thing she was right on top of me and she was like I turned around she was like right there I'm like whoa and it even scared me because you don't expect to turn around and see a giant anaconda staring at you. But uh, she's just such a curious animal. She was just like, hey dad, what are you doing in my cage? I love her to death, but uh, Aries is giving me a little entertainment today as well. So I just got a text message. My buddy is about here, about 15 minutes from now, he's gonna be here with that surprise. Uh, I, again, I, I'll explain all about it. And I'm sorry that I'm keeping you guys kind of on the hook here, uh, but it's it's uh, it's gonna be, a, it's, it's probably not gonna be what you expected, but I hope that you guys will be impressed because it, I'm pretty excited about it actually seeing it and uh, anyways I got about 10 or 15 minutes so what do you say we just cut a clutch of eggs to pass the time just because my excitement level is through the roof let's go ahead cut a clutch of eggs and then we'll reveal this huge surprise we are coming at you with a super super quick egg cutting this is actually a heck clown to an albino clown two eggs that's it on theory, one of two should be clown. I don't know. They are all gonna be double head for albino clown no matter what, because again, the albino clown is double recessive, albino and clown. So let's see if we get any clowns in here. And if we do, that would be pretty cool. With two eggs, you never know what you're gonna get. You know, the odds can go in your favor. They can not go in your favor. You never know. Right off the rip, we've got a normal looking snake. That is a double head for albino clown. Uh, again, a cool snake, right? Cause it's carrying the genetics for albino and clown. That's what's good about recessive mutations. When you produce a normal, it's not actually a normal. Looks like a normal, but carries the actual traits. One more egg. Let's hope we get a clown. There we go. Let's see what we're going to get. Nope, we didn't get a clown, guys. So we ended up with two double heads. Real quick egg cutting. That's all right. It's all right. I'm not worried about it. We still have some cool double head albino clowns. Hopefully they're females, which makes them a little bit more valuable and sense that we're going to keep them and breed them back and produce more albino clowns down the road. No big deal. Uh, that was about the quickest egg cutting we've done all year. So I know I've been teasing you guys all day, so... Let's go do this. Let's go find out what I was talking about, about the surprise. I am so excited and it's right outside this door. All right guys, so I can't wait to show you guys this. This is something that uh, has been honestly sitting in my garage for about the last 10 years. Uh, not doing anything and I had someone that came to a tour and they worked on this type of thing for me and they said hey guess what i can help you out and get this thing fixed up so we're about to find out what i'm talking about you ready ho oh, ho doggy chameleon color this doesn't even look like the same bike man holy cow dude oh my god you did so i mean this is incredible look at this thing shines man 
Oh my God, you guys don't understand. So again, I got this bike like probably 15 years ago. It had a different paint job. It, it looked beautiful, but man, the chrome was a little bit beat up. You did an amazing job. The seat was like not the same. It just, just everything. This is, I, so there it is. I know you guys didn't think that this was going to, going to be to surprise you, but holy moly. Wow. Jeez. That paint, once you get it in a different light, like in the night, it'll start turning blue and doing other colors. It's all, all the pigments in it will make it change every yeah. color you can think of. Exactly. I mean, literally, this thing will change colors every way you look at it. It turns from purple to pink to yellow. It'll turn blue. I mean, it's, it's chameleon paint. And the chrome on this, oh my gosh. What do you say we start this little baby up and uh, go take it for a ride? How good this thing sounded, man. Oh my god. guys that was freaking amazing it's been a while since i've ridden and uh it was incredible and for those of you guys that worry number one normally i'm going to wear a helmet but uh there is a no helmet law here in michigan so don't beat me up too much but to be honest with you i am going to put a little dome on my cap because uh you never know what's going to happen but for this i wanted to ride it kind of free and it was absolutely incredible as i'm walking into the future sloth room we have to do a lot of work in here as you guys know start to tear this down waterproof the place put rock wall up trees all kinds of different stuff the fact is is that getting things off my mind is helping me mentally a tremendous amount and just kind of again freeing that space and i am so unbelievably over the top happy about this bike. I mean, am I going to be able to ride it much this year? Probably not, but uh, it's almost winter time. But, but just having it, being able to look at it and knowing that next year I can enjoy it is huge for me. So again, now we have the sloth room, the rest of the basement, and I think we are wrapped up with all these crazy projects that I've been involved in. And then we are ready for our big trip across country starting the beginning of November. So that is pretty awesome. So once again, one thing off the list, and let me know in the comments what you think about my bike and if this was what you were expecting. I'm sure not many people were, and uh, but I definitely wanna know what you think about it. <laughs> I tell you what guys, let me know again what you think about this. Uh, what an amazing day it's been. I mean, just, you know, a lot of cool animals, ball python hatching, got, uh, I mean, you know, an awesome bike. Cannot express how happy I am. Definitely gonna be riding at home tonight, having a good time. Let me know what you think. If you enjoyed this video, here is a playlist. Uh, if you've been missing snake egg cutting, playlist of snake egg cutting. Up on this side, you can actually subscribe to the podcast channel. It really does mean a tremendous amount to me if you support that. On this side, you can subscribe to this vlog channel if you haven't already. Turn your post notifications on. Have an absolutely wonderful day. Remember, keep dreaming, guys. Be kind to someone, and I'll see you tomorrow.